All right, all right, all right. Sit me down, youngins. All right, thank you for attending my class. My name is Chip McCracken, and I'm here to teach you the ancient techniques and strategies of natural self-defense. Now, I know what you may be thinking. Uh, what makes this self-defense class different from any other self-defense class? Well, I am here to tell you that every other so-called uh, self-defense class is a big heaping pile of baloney. You got that? <laughs> Pardon me, but I've actually been enrolled in a Krav Maga class before this, and I, it can be really useful. You know, I just got my blue yeah, Whoa, 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 I'm going to stop you right there, sweetheart. Uh, I hate to uh, disillusion you, but a belt in this uh, uh, crate Maca is really only good for about one thing, and uh, that's holding up my trousers after <laughs> Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> no, it's pronounced Krav Maga, not... All right, moving on. Enough chit-chat. Let's get down to brass tacks. Now, I was a beat cop for 44 years, and I know how to deal with everything from daytime drug deals to grand theft locomotive. <laughs> now, open up your head holes, because I'm about to drop a knowledge bomb so big, it could have been in the cargo hold of the Enola Gay. You! Allow me to, uh, paint you a word picture. Imagine you're strolling down the street, when all of a sudden, you see some creep up the road giving you the stink eye. Ooh, he's coming right at you. When all of a sudden, he runs up to you and he grabs you by the arm. What do you do? Oh, um, I know I don't want to escalate the situation any further, so maybe I just remain calm and give him what he wants? Absolutely wrong. Uh, actually, that's a valid uh, Punt down, Cave Magma. Listen, <laughs> if you give this bozo what he wants, you're just encouraging him to mug more people because now he knows that he can get away with it. You gotta teach this dirt bag a lesson. So, step one, you want to discreetly put your hands into your jacket pockets. Step two, once your assailant is close to you, you will burst open your trench coat to reveal a large set of eyes within. <laughs> That's amazing! Yeah. What the? You see, now your assailant is terrified and confused. This dingus doesn't know which set of eyes are real. And you've successfully entered into what I like to call the realm of infinite possibility. Why do they call that? Well, you see, you humongous man-child. Now, there is an almost unlimited number of actions you can perform next. For example, uh, this distraction provides you with the perfect opportunity to punch your assailant in the kneecaps. Wait, oh! Awesome! What? And now, we begin the final stage of our defense and offense. Oh, that was so cool! You were like, pow, and zoink, and bam, and Okay, boom. okay, okay, hold on a second. The entire point of self-defense is to disengage your attacker and escape, not murder them. <laughs> and in what world are fake eyes going to stop me from getting mugged? It's not like I'm a butterfly scaring off a bird or something. Ah, that's where you're wrong, Kronk Martha. A predator is a predator is a predator. And in this dog-eat-dog -dog world, there is no better form of self-defense than the ancient techniques and strategies that Mother Nature herself has bestowed upon so many of her beloved creatures. Yeah, I mean, as painful as that was, it was pretty cool. <laughs> you bet you tuck us it was. Here, take this. Wow! <laughs> Thanks, Chip McCracken. Anytime, dollface. I want one too. Maybe next time, champ. Okay, I know for a fact that switchblades are illegal. Moving on! You, big boy, allow me to uh, paint you a word picture. So, you're strolling down the street, just decided to call it a night at the local watering hole, when all of a sudden you notice some sleazy stalkers breathing down your backside. Ooh, one of these Joes is getting just a little bit too close. What's the plan, Stan? Well, I mean, I'm 6'4 and 200 pounds, so. I'd probably just turn around and punch him. And to think that I had faith in you, you absolute mountain of a man, that is the worst thing you could do in that situation. The worst thing? I mean, he is a pretty big guy. Pipe down, Crane Maggot. All right, now listen up, because what you're going to have to do here ain't pretty. How comfortable are you uh, losing a hand? What? <laughs> I'm just pulling your leg, you yuppie. It's clear that you have only one course of action to get these ninnies off your tail. And that's to whip out your emergency ration of wolf urine and to douse your entire body with it. That's disgusting. Why would you? Oh, you see, now the predatorial pheromones are kicking in. Oh, and these nincompoops are scared shitless because their natural instinct is to flee 
from the scent of wolves. Oh, ship a crack and you sly dog, that's genius. Yes, and now that this ninny is thrown off his groove, you're in, say it with me, class, the, the realm, realm of infinite possibility. possibility. Oh, oh. <laughs> ship a crack and you're the best. The best. So, your next step would okay, probably- Okay, stop. Listen here, McCracken. Honestly, before even taking your class, I knew you were a little unorthodox. But after hearing the incessant stream of illustrious bullshit that you're playing up with self-defense, I legitimately fear for any and all students you've ever had. I mean, masks and wolf piss? And why do you carry multiple switchblades on you at once? It's like you're teaching us to- Uh, everything alright over there, champ? I just didn't think it would be like this. Oh, what's wrong? <laughs> you okay? Oh! <laughs> what? I'm sorry. <laughs> so, the Yakuza finally caught up to me, did they? <laughs> I grew up hearing tales of the invincible Chip McCracken. I trained day and night to meet him on the field of battle. I just thought that when I finally did, you'd be as evil as my master said you were. Not like this. Pure of heart and righteous beyond doubt. You killed her! Oh my god, what is happening? Well, you see, the Yakuza have been on my tail ever since I defeated Sumiyoshi Kai in single combat back in 76. They just couldn't accept the fact that an outsider got the best of them. Forgive me for... I'm honor-bound to complete my mission or die trying! Here, take this in case things don't go so well. Don't worry, Magna Carta. I'll be just fine. <laughs> oh. 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 You know the worst thing about you, Yakuza's? You just can't get anything. Let you can't let anything go. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. Starfish limb regeneration, activate. What is that? Go, go, gadget, squid ink. Let's get down to brass tacks, shall we? Thank <laughs> you.